So we've talked about Romelu Lukaku and what could happen. Could he join from Everton? Could Wayne Rooney go in the opposite direction? This time we're talking about the sensation that is Kylian Mbappe. I'm going to call him Mbappe. I don't actually know how to say his name. Let me know in the comments if I said that wrong. And this is after stories that emanated from the Spanish press saying that Manchester United are not only interested in him, but they've actually put in a bid for him. It's all started from Cadena Cope, the Spanish radio station, who said that Manchester United had had a 110 million euro bid for Mbappe rejected by Monaco. Now, this has gone on the front page of AS, as you can see next to me. But swiftly after that, the next morning, Monaco have completely denied, formally denied, this is the case. They have said Monaco have not received a single offer from any club and in any case has no, to di no desire to sell Killian. It's no surprise to hear that Monaco are actually pushing for Killian to sign a contract extension after what has been an outstanding breakthrough season. But Man United are clearly going to be interested in it. We're going to be looking at the best strikers in Europe this year because that has been our big problem, finishing our chances. Is he the missing piece for Man United's attack? At 18, Killian has been part of what, the most free-scoring attack in Europe. Over 130 goals in all competitions for Monaco this year, alongside Bernardo Silva and a resurgent Radamel Falcao. He's been outstanding. You look at his stats, you know, he's 12 goals in League One, uh, five assists in only 982 minutes. You know, by comparison, Falcao's got 16 goals and four assists, but he's had that in 1,400 minutes. It's very, very impressive for a person who is only 18 years old. You know, having watched him in a couple of games, mainly in the Champions League game against Man City, where he was outstanding, he doesn't look 18. Uh, He's very physically developed, he's tall, he's strong, but he looks mature in how he plays football. Some 18-year-olds get nervous, you know, shoot from range, do X, Y, Z, but Kylian looks like he's born for the big stage, and that's clearly going to be interesting for Manchester United. And by comparison as well, Martial had the breakthrough season with Monaco before Man United signed him as a teenager. In that time, he had nine goals and three assists in 19 League One performances in 1,828 minutes just to put it in perspective of how well Kylian is playing this year. And he's not just doing it in the French League. He's got two goals in three Champions League appearances as well, right at the top. Monaco, they're in the Champions League quarter-final now. And Mbappe has played a crucial, crucial role with that. He's with the French squad. He's in cell set to make his international debut during the international break. You know, this France team is littered with quality. You've got Martial, you've got Griezmann, you've got Mbappe, you've got Dembele coming through. You look behind them, they've got Pogba, they've got Verratti. It really is a golden French generation, uh, which is why they were so disappointed not to win Euro 2016 in their home country. But let me know what you think about Kylian. Is he the solution to Man United's attacking problems? Most of his appearances this year have come through the centre as a centre forward, but he can play out on the left, I suppose a little bit like Martial at that age. And Martial for me is now... I think left wing is, is his best position. I feel that's where we're going to get the most out of Martial, where he's going to get the most out of himself as a player. But kilian has got pace, he's got finishing. As I said, he's very physically developed and very mature and level-headed for an 18-year-old. But I suppose a big question to ask is, would Jose Mourinho actually look at an 18-year-old and say, he can be the solution to our problems? Typically, over his career, he's gone for established quality, experienced quality to bring it into a team. That's why he brought Zlatan Ibrahimovic in, he's brought Mkhitaryan in. Pogba, I suppose, is slightly different. Uh, and Eric Bailly is a little bit different too. But Killian's 18. There's a big, big difference between the players we've brought and an 18-year-old. There's no guarantee that he's going to light up any other league apart from the French league, but he looks mustard. He really looks like the real deal. And Man United, I feel, need to sign a striker this summer. Because I believe where I've, I've Wayne Rooney's going to leave, I feel that now's the right time. And we just need another one because that has been our biggest issue this year. Whether that is Kylian or Aubameyang or Benzema or anybody else in the world, who do you think Man United are going to sign and attack? The stories have already started about Kylian Mbappe and whether or not Man United are interested in him. Monaco are denying it. The Spanish press is starting the rumour mills. Would you want Manchester United to sign him? Let me know in the comments below. And let me know who else you'd like me to look at because we'll start doing these as regular videos. If there's any individual targets you think Man United should be looking at, make sure you leave it in the comments and we'll try and do a video on it for you. And make sure as well you drop a like on the video, subscribe to United People's TV, and we'll see you soon. Take it easy.